morning dear students today we are going to start next chapter that is super class pieces in the last class we have learned about uh, sub phylum vertebrata okay we can start with the classification of super class pieces this species is first classified into two classes chondrichthys and osteichthys okay then these two classes are again subdivided into subclasses first we can go and see the division of chondrichthys chondrichthys is subdivided into two subclasses like elasmobranchi and holocephali uh, under elasmobranchi you will learn shark as the example and for holocephali you will learn chimera and regarding osteichthys its subdivisions are sub, sorry subclasses are choanichthys and actino tergi actinopter g okay then this coanic this again subdivided into two order crossopter g for this you will learn latimeria as the example and our second one is dipnoi under this dipnoi order you will learn protopterus as the example then coming to actinopter g it is divided into three super orders first one is chondrosty holosty and telosty okay then again this super orders are divided into several orders first we going to understand about chondrosty division it is divided into two order acipensary form with example acipenser then polyptery forms with example polypterus then holocephaly sorry holosty is divided into two orders semi onotiforms example lepisostis and emiforms example is inia uh, then regarding the telosty is a big uh, big group and under this telosty how many orders are coming 35 orders are coming and that cover almost all advanced modern fishes like anabas clarius cetronius echinus canna uh, etc okay uh, so um, in this chapter a very important thing is to you have to by heart and to recollect very fast uh, all the classification and uh, its uh, sub classifications okay it's very important next i am going to give a generalization regarding various morphological features of this fishes and uh, based on uh, these various morphological features we are identifying uh, one fish species from another first is regarding its fins different types of fins are present fins uh, one type is dorsal fin dorsal fin as the name indicate it is located on the dorsal side of the fish and here in the case of this fish we can see two types of dorsal fin one is spiny dorsal fin and other one is soft dorsal fin uh, spiny means this dorsal fin is supported by, um, with some spiny rays and soft means this rays are very soft if we touch this spine uh, our finger get wounded next type of fin is caudal fin caudal caudal means it is in the tail region and uh, this caudal fin sorry caudal fin here we can see it is bifurcated uh, it varies its shape varies from one species to another some in some it is uh, um, uh, circular uh, and uh, in some uh, the length of these two lobes become uh, maybe unequal and based on all this we are identifying each fish species okay now you only understand that uh, another type of fin is caudal fin dorsal fin caudal fin then next one is ventral fin ventral uh, from the word itself we can understand it is seen ventrally ventral side but uh, yeah, the fish that is shown in this picture that ventral fin is absent um, the ventral fin should be uh, seen here but it is uh, not for um, present for this fish so uh, you just understand that ventral fins also present in some fish species next fin is uh, uh, anal fin 
Anal fin means that fin that is seen beyond the anus. Anus is located uh, here in this region. And beyond the anus present a fin, that fin is called anal fin. Then another uh, two major groups of fin also they are. They are uh, pectoral fin and pelvic fin. Fin. Pectoral is somewhat equal or similar to our forelimb. Uh, forelimb of four-legged animals. Uh, it is seen immediately after the operculum. This is the operculum. Uh, this is the pectoral fin. And pe pelvic fin is, uh, we can see it just below, uh, to, uh, below the body. Uh, it comes almost near the line near to a line that is passing through the, uh, the the beginning portion of pectoral fin so here also we can see that uh, if we draw a line uh, um, that touches the beginning point of pectoral fin and as it runs to uh, towards its ventral side there starts the pelvic fin and based on the position of the pelvic fin also we can classify fishes because uh, in some fishes it may be uh, located uh, to certain extent beyond uh, some point beyond to this uh, beyond to this point that means its its position uh, is changed um, as we go to different species of fishes Mm, that is pelvic fin. Now you only need to understand that pelvic fin is somewhat similar to our hind limb. Uh, don't get tense over so many things. Only think about these uh, different types of fin. Uh, different types of fin which are the dorsal fin, caudal fin, ventral fin, anal fin, pectoral fin, pelvic fin. All these with regard to all these fin. Uh, there exists some difference among different fish species. And by looking into those differences, we are identifying each fish species. Okay. Uh, the difference in the fins is only one of the different attributes that help us to identify fishes. Okay. Uh, then, um, uh, based on the position of the eyes, eyes also we understand, uh, sorry, I uh, identify fishes and uh, in what way, what, um, what is the manner of opening of the mouth of the fish, that way also we identify fishes. Some, in some fish species, that opening uh, usually see on the ventral side and in some species it turns upright, uh, that's what. Then, nares. Uh, Neris also uh, uh, regard, with regard to its number, uh, we can identify uh, different fish species. In so, uh, some species, only one Neris are present. In the, some species, two Neris are present. Then operculum, we, can, uh, we know that operculum is the covering that is seen above the gills. Gill slits, what is the use of gill slits? Uh, it helps breathing uh, for the fish. Uh, through the gill slits, water enters its um, body for uh, ga uh, gas exchange. Okay. Then another difference is that some uh, fish species have scales, different types of scales also there. Uh, tenoid, uh, pectoral, ga uh, ganoid scales, so many different types of scales are there uh, depending upon the species of fishes. And some species uh, scales uh, are made totally absent. So that's also one, um, one factor or morphological aspect that helps to identify the fish. Uh, okay, I think uh, we understand almost uh, some uh, basic features of the fishes that is necessary to uh, distinguish one species from another one. Next, I'm going to uh, show you a table. You also uh, have to prepare this table and this table will help you to learn all the features of all different classes and subclasses of fishes very clearly without getting confused uh, with another one another. Okay. So what's the importance of this table? 
in uh, look in this table here you can see some attributes shape skin head fin circulatory system respiratory system reproductive system nervous system digestive system and excretory system um, if you prepare such a table then while studying each type of fish you can write what the uh, peculiarity with regard to the shape um, of that fish regarding the skin is it with the scales or a devoid of scales and then uh, coming to head a head uh, we know that he head um, have so many structures eyes nose mouth gill slits jaw teeth what all uh, specialities are there with regard to all these features for each type of fishes in that way we can memorize it then regarding fins which all the fins are present dorsal fin if dorsal fin is present then what is its uh, speciality or uh, speciality with regard to its shape and caudal fin if present what is its shape uh, and in that way you can easily memorize all the features and uh, without get confused or over uh, with other type of fish uh, regarding the circulatory system uh, some speciality some bends are seen in some species uh, regarding the respiratory system reproductive system also uh, there exists some difference in some species nervous system digestive system excretory system so it will be very helpful if you prepare uh, a table like this for study before studying going to study different fish species and uh, okay next step, we are moving to uh, the core of our chapter okay super class pieces natos tomato natos tomato where have you heard about this term before in a former chapter we have learned that subphylum uh, vertebrata is classified into echnatha and natostomata that natostomata is this one and it is monophyletic monophyletic uh, why it become monophyletic due to the presence of a derived character called jaws then i will explain to you what is monophyletic uh, this is a um, phylogenetic tree and here uh, the highlighted blue highlighted area as we look uh, to this area we can understand that this group is different from this one because of a common character and all the descendants from this b have uh, that particular uh, character in common uh, in the case of natos tomata that character is jaws and this one doesn't possess that uh, particular character this one is a monophyletic okay then acnada acnada uh, means it, this is a, another division of sub, uh, that subphylum vertebrata it is paraphyletic paraphyletic as we look in this picture itself uh, it is very clear the other group this group uh, uh, devoid of that common character that is the jaw uh, so they, it is different from the uh, other group that are sharing a common character that group is called the paraphyletic it is different from this one so another is a paraphyletic okay natos tomato it first appeared in odo mission pd uh, what are its general characters it possesses a distinct jaws with teeth and uh, paired fins are there uh, then cranium cranium we know it is a outer protective cover um, over the brain and then renal portal system is present renal portal system means that the system of uh, blood vessels that carry blood from uh, posterior region of the body to the kidney and it possesses spleen spleen uh, it, it filter the blood uh, and uh, fish or uh, this natos tomato and uh, natos tomatans also possess spleen and it filter the blood and it will destroy all worn out rbcs next is pancreas pancreas it function both as both as exocrine and endocrine in function uh, exocrine uh, means uh, it secretes um, substances like uh, digestive uh, enzymes uh, like that substances endocrine means it secretes hormones so pancreas have both exocrine and endocrine function uh, nerves what is the peculiarity of nerves in the uh, case of natos tomata uh, it is enclosed in myelin sheath myelin sheath we know that uh, in the case of higher forms nerves is wrapped in a particular peculiar type of sheath it's called a myelin sheath to uh, fast 
fasten the speed of nerve impulse conduction. Okay, to speed the nerve impulse con conduction. Uh, regarding the brain, it is with a distinct cerebellum. Cerebral distinct cerebellum is there. And uh, for what is cerebellum? It's part of the brain where we can see at the back of the uh, skull. Uh, this is the brain. In its back portion, we can see the uh, cerebellum in the case of vertebrates. And what is this important? It coordinates and regulates uh, muscular activity mainly. And uh, distinct olfactory lobes are present. It is two in number for uh, sensing smell. Next, regarding the kidney. In the case of nathostomata, the kidney is developed from the posterior section of the embryonic nephrotome. I will show the image, uh, image in the, the progression of uh, development of kidney. Um, primitive, uh, in primitive species, the kidney is of pronephrus. What do you mean by pronephrus? Pro pronephrus means there will be a common duct. That duct is called the nephric duct. And if it's uh, anterior region uh, developed into kidney, then that type of kidney is called a pronephrous kidney and this type of kidneys are found in uh, primitive forms. And later um, in the progress of uh, evolution, uh, the middle portion of this nephric duct uh, become modified to form the kidney. Then that type of kidney is called a mesonephric kidney. And later in the path of evolution, the posterior most portion of the nephric duct modified and form kidney that is called metanephric kidney it is a permanent kidney and uh, all uh, higher vertebrates are retaining this metanephric kidney but at the same time uh, even in in the embryonic period of um, higher vertebrates we all follow this development pathway of kidney development pathway of kidney means uh, in the case of uh, um, human itself yeah, till the fourth week of embryonic life, the kidney is pronephrous means uh, our kidney is uh, pronephric one. Uh, that means uh, the, uh, the kidney that time is developed from the anterior end of that uh, nephric tag. Later, after the fourth week, then that kidney degenerate and middle portion, um, sorry, middle portion of nephric duct uh, develop into kidney and form mesonephric uh, duct and that uh, was um, continued to function for some period and after that uh, that also degenerate and later the uh, posterior uh, part of the nephric duct modified and developed to kidney and that retain as the permanent kidney in the case of higher vertebrates including us. Okay, that is the uh, development pathway, development of kidney. For your better understanding, I showed this image here. Okay. So, in the case of nathostomata, kidney is developed from the posterior section of embryonic nephrotome. Okay. Then coming to excretory system. Excretory system, it uh, differ with uh, respect to male and female. What is the difference? In the case of male, there is no separate distinct duct for uh, uh, releasing excreta and uh, uh, sperm. Uh, only one opening. But in the case of female, separate ducts openings are present for releasing excreta and uh, its sex cell. That is ova. Okay. Next, we are going to see the classification of nathostomata. Nathostomata is classified into uh, superclass species and tetrapoda. Tetrapoda includes all four limbed animals, and the species include all jaw fishes. Okay, now we are moving to the superclass species. Uh, its general features. Features we know they are all aquatic. Aquatic means Fresh forms are there and marine forms also there. They are called blood. It means it can change body temperature according to the ambient temperature. Ambient means um, what is the temperature outside? Uh, means the temperature of the environment uh, where it dwells. 
then scales scales are present in some forms some forms are absent and body shape it varies from uh, one type of fish to another and in sometimes body is streamlined streamlined means uh, both air is, uh, and are pointed and in some form the dos um, body is doso ventrally flattened doso ventrally flattened means it is flattened uh, from both sides mm, uh, both sides means dorsally and ventrally <laughs> that means how will be at that time dorsal ventrally flattened means uh, somewhat like this one a laterally compressed means uh, it may be like this one dorsal ventrally means it is compressed from dorsally and ventrally laterally compressed means it is compressed from both lateral side and some fishes are like a snake then fins are present different types of fins we already seen in the latest uh, sorry former slides then nostrils are present uh, then endoskeleton is present endoskeleton means uh, the skeletal uh, structures that see inside the body uh, it may be of cartilaginous or bony next uh, respiratory organ respiratory organ we know uh, gills are the uh, important respiratory organ in the case of fishes and uh, in addition to that in some fishes accessory respiratory organs are present accessory means uh, in addition to um, take air present in the water that type of fishes can take um, air directly from atmosphere using some additional structures those structures are called accessory respiratory organs then gills this is the structure of gills gills um, gill arch what is gill arch mm, this is the gill arch and in that arch gill filaments are arranged and gill slits means that opening seen between two gill uh, gill arches and opercular means is a covering seen uh, outer to the um, gills here we can see it opercular then air bladder or sim bladder both are helping in buoyancy and swimming then lateral line system we can see is a line uh, we can see from anterior towards the posterior it is well developed it is uh, helping the fish for balancing in the uh, water mm, because uh, uh, without without the support of that um, lateral line system it cannot uh, keep its position uh, in this way in the water mm, that's why dead fishes we found that it is um, it's toppling, it is toppling its body uh, it's falling down uh, reason is that lateral lateral line system is not uh, functioning so that lateral line system helps for keeping its position uh, in this position okay next hurt Hurt is venous hurt. Venous hurt means uh, hurt uh, is uh, carrying impure blood. Uh, pure blood and uh, impure blood is mixing up in this uh, in its hurt. So that type of hurt is called venous hurt. Only two chambers are present: one auricular and one ventricular. Brain it is very large with the cerebral lung. Cranial nerves are present. Means those nerves that is emanating from cranium. Spinal nerves means uh, those nerves that is coming out from spinal cord towards all the other body such as like uh, forearms and hind limbs. So here cranial nerves. Um, that cranial nerves, it counts 10 pairs. Regarding the olfactory lobes. Olfactory lobes, it is not open into the buccal cavity. In the case of this uh, fishes. Then ear. Only internal ear uh, is present. There are no fishes is um, swimming with or having any external ear like us, um, having an external pinna like such. So there is only internal ear. Kidney is mesonephrus. Mesonephrus it means uh, it is developed from the middle portion of a nephric tract. Then reproductive aspects, sexes are separate gonads are with the tags 
Uh, oviparous and viviparous are there. Oviparous means egg laying. Viviparous means it is giving birth to young ones. Development direct and indirect. Direct, direct means without uh, any larval stages. Indirect means through a larval stage. Amnion and allantois. Uh, embryonic covering. Uh, this one. And these structures are absent uh, in its embryonic stages. Then next is classification of superclass pieces that we can learn in next class. Okay, uh, with, with this we can finish today's section. Thank you.